It's like a time bomb slowly ticking in the brain, affecting an astonishing 4% of the population when a cerebral aneurysm goes off or ruptures without warning. The consequences can be devastating. An aneurysm is a, an outgrowth located on the blood vessel in the brain. And what causes an aneurysm is a weakness. They develop and develop in response to an injury to the blood vessel. And some of these injuries we can prevent, such as smoking or high blood pressure, and some we can't, such as a genetic predisposition, a family history. Because cerebral aneurysms usually do not show symptoms until they grow excessively large or burst, most go undetected until they rupture while others are often found during brain imaging tests that may have been ordered for another condition. Aneurysms generally are diagnosed by several different types of imaging modalities that can be used, including angiography or CT or MR can be used to visualize aneurysms as well. The great majority of aneurysms aren't picked up until they burst, and when they do so, usually patients will describe the symptoms as the worst headache of their life, a very severe sudden onset headache can also be associated with nausea or vomiting, stiff neck, seizures, or loss of consciousness. Once a cerebral aneurysm has been diagnosed, there are various treatment options available for the patient. The best chance of a positive outcome is for the patient to be treated at a comprehensive facility that specializes in neurosurgery, like the University of Illinois at Chicago. Our team of neurosurgeons and endovascular neurosurgeons determine which is the best treatment option available for that patient. One treatment option may be surgical clipping and with the most recent innovation in selected patients, a laser bypass. The second mode of treatment would be endovascular therapy. It's minimally invasive and we place platinum coils within the aneurysm to stop the blood flow. Much like cardiovascular bypass surgery, brain bypass involves rerouting blood flow to the brain around the aneurysm. But since it involves brain tissue, it is a far more complex procedure. At UIC, we've developed an approach which we call the flow-assisted bypass strategy. And for that, we have developed tools that allow us to measure the blood flow coming to the aneurysm before surgery with a method called NOVA. In addition to the NOVA, during surgery, we measure blood flow in the blood vessels using vessel flow probes to allow us to safely occlude the vessel and determine whether, once we reopen them, that we reestablish the appropriate amount of flow going through them. Patients who have qualified for brain bypass surgery using these techniques have experienced remarkable outcomes. I went to the actual emergency room on July 3rd, and for the week before that, um, I had been getting like severe headaches, and they wouldn't last long. It was just like in a certain part of my head, it would either be the back or you know the left side, the right side. After the additional exams or MRIs, um, they determined that I had a um, giant aneurysm. My recovery is going really well. Um, I've been following all the instructions from the nurses, the doctors, um, since my release, and um, I'm looking, it's looking good. Brain bypass is just one of the latest neurosurgical techniques that are improving the lives of thousands with injuries and conditions affecting the brain. Care of aneurysm patients, especially those with subarachnoid hemorrhage, is complex as they are critically ill patients. And here at UIC, to optimize their care, we rely on a multidisciplinary approach looking to involve neurosurgery, neurointensive care, neuroanesthesia, and specialized care from neuronursing to optimize those outcomes. The future for the treatment of cerebrovascular disease, and in particular aneurysms, is clearly along the path of minimal invasiveness. Everything that we're doing is less invasive, less disruption to the patient, and data-driven to preserve the blood flow and the circulation. The Department of Neurosurgery, founded in 1941 at the University of Illinois at Chicago, is world-renowned for its groundbreaking research and state-of-the-art diagnosis for the treatment of strokes, cerebral aneurysms, and brain tumors. In the Department of Neurosurgery, at the University of Illinois in Chicago is a leading institution. We have the best minds in surgery, neurology, medicine, research, and patient care that come together for the benefit of the patient and for the advancement of this field. 
In addition, this department offers patients access to recognized experts in the fields of functional neurosurgery, spine and spinal cord disorders, and pediatric neurosurgery. Our neurosurgical department is a team approach. It has attracted experts in the fields of neurosurgery, endovascular neurosurgery, research, and is supported by the hospital. This dynamic neurosurgical team is at the forefront of cutting-edge care and is devoted to continuing to find and apply the most advanced and proven effective treatments science has to offer. Our mission is to advance the field and to find solutions for problems that are complicated through innovations in technology, in new devices, in new treatments, apply into our patients and help not just one or two or a dozen, but many across the country and perhaps across the world. Stroke, brain aneurysms, and brain tumors disable or take the lives of millions of individuals each year. Through the efforts of the Department of Neurosurgery at the University of Illinois at Chicago, many are being given a second chance. For more information, log on to uic.edu slash deps slash mcns or call 800-597-5970.